I went to the Apple store yesterday to buy a new phone and I was surprised at how many people were actually waiting in line. So we got there before they opened, so around like 9.56 they opened at 10. And by the time we already got there, we made a reservation and there was already like 10 people there just waiting in line. I don't know, I didn't know that many people were that desperate to buy like a new iPhone or an iPad. But there were like a bunch of people and like we had to like they had to like point a little gun at us to like check our temperatures. It was kind of it was pretty wacky. And there was like there was even a a mother with like her little girl and she she the mother was wearing a mask, but I don't know for some reason the little girl was in the wearing mask for some reason that bothered me. Maybe like the mother's like anti-vax. <laughs> I don't know, but she the the kid wasn't wearing a mask. So we were just standing there. The security guards, I don't know what the hell they were talking about. They were talking about, like, different jobs and shit. And I just happened to be listening to them. So, eventually, we did go inside. Go inside the Apple store. And they had us, like, wait in, like, one specific spot. And then they, we, and then they would move us to, like, another spot. It was, like, you know in, that, like, those group projects where you, like, go in a circle? Yeah, you, like, you watch someone present a project right there and then move around. It was kind of like that. So while we were there, I happened to look around at the products, and man, the iPhone 12 mini is like really fucking small. Like, I, I watched like a MKBHD review on it, and it didn't look that small on video, but looking at it in person, that shit is so fucking small, dude. It's like, and the 12 Pro Max is huge. Compared to the 12 mini, like, what the fuck is that? Like, the 12 Pro Max is like on steroids. Compared to the 12 mini, it is so fucking small. So eventually we we got to there to buy two ten iPhone ten Rs and then we happened to have like a lady there and it was the buying experience wasn't that bad but we did end up not being able to activate our phones because my dad like our SIM cards had to be changed but my dad's like T Mobile account was linked to my uncle so we weren't able to do it there and it was just a failure. It was kind of embarrassing to be there too. Cause he was like, like oh Oh, I'm sorry, we can't activate it for you. And oh my god. While they were talking about that, I was just like fucking around and testing the iPads. The iPads are pretty cool. And after that, we just bought our phones and we went home. And pretty much it. Peace.